Hi, did you know there are five major consonant sounds that can make or break any British received pronunciation accent? So what are they? Well, it's the R sound, L sound, H sound, N sound and the th sound or the sound. Getting these sounds right will really make a difference to your RP accent. And today I'll show you how to get the R sound right. And over the coming weeks, I'll show you the rest. So let's start with R. Now, you might already know this, but in a standard RP accent, R is non-rotic and therefore is not pronounced in all situations. It's only pronounced when followed by a vowel sound. And this includes connected speech. So we'll be looking at that later in the video. Let's get the sound right first. Start with the tip of your tongue raised up towards, but just behind the alveolar ridge. The tip of the tongue, curve it upwards. This lowers the center of the tongue, so you should now be able to feel your tongue being curled upwards. Don't touch the ridge, because you don't want the sound to have friction. So if your tongue is touching the ridge, move it away slightly, far enough to produce a sound that has no friction. R is usually voiced. So now voice it and focus the sound onto the gum ridge by raising your jaw up a little and pull your bottom lips forward just a little to support the sound. Copy me. R. 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 Notice how the sound can be short or continuous. Watch and listen again. A common error is to tap the R, giving the accent a very old fashioned quality. In a tapped R, the tongue is not free, but makes contact with the gum ridge a little, like D or L. Time for practice. Remember, curl the tip of your tongue up towards, but just behind your gum ridge without touching it. And voice the sound. Repeat after me where R is followed by a vowel. Rare. Raw. Ray. Row. Now these. Bridge. Right. Gray. Sorry. Hero. Did you notice the word sorry where R is followed by consonant Y? This is because Y can sound like a vowel and it sounds like I when it's at the end of words. Now it's time for a tongue twister, so get your tongues ready. The rat ran by the river with a lump of raw liver. Again. The rat ran by the river with a lump of raw liver. Now for R in connected speech. First of all, let's look at linking R. As we said before, R is non-rotic and is only pronounced when followed by a vowel sound. Well, this happens between words as well. When we speak quickly and link them together, compare these sentences when R is followed by a vowel and when it's followed by a consonant. Where is it? On the car seat. Where are you? In your garden. Who are you with? Your mother and father. 
In the second, fourth and fifth phrase, and your mother in the sixth phrase, the R is not sounded, as the following sound is a consonant. In the first and third phrase, and mother and father in the sixth phrase, the R is a linking R, joining the first word to the second, which begins with a vowel. Now let's practice the sentences together. Where is it? On the car seat. Where are you? In your garden. Who are you with? Your mother and father. Good. Now let's look at intrusifar in British received pronunciation. This is the R sound an English speaker might place between two words where the first ends in a schwa or or and the following word begins with a vowel sound. Like this. America and Canada. Law and order. Put a straw in my drink. You'll hear intrusifar quite a lot, but it's not obligatory. In fact, the only difference between linking R and intrusifar is that linking R can be seen in the written form, like her English, and intrusifar is not. It's added by the speaker to smooth out their pronunciation. If you want more on linking R and intrusive R, see my videos here. Until next time, love and peace.